so I was thinking about it, and I was like, hmm, the DJI Osmo Pocket, I, uh, if this isn't the way it works, then fuck you, pay me, and this is probably how, what it was built off of. Uh, it has a, because ordinarily it would, like, blow up when exposed to air because it's, uh, you know, um, not really supposed to be used for cable. There's, like, a, uh, zinc cable that's insulated completely going to the head and then it goes down into a body uh, because this is different color frequencies that zinc is like you know green but it's it's not oxidized you know what I mean so like it pulls energy through in a way that's that still can be interpreted in that frequency by looking at oxygen through the sensor and then it goes down uh, from like the zinc that's coated in copper down to um, uh, gold and silver, the silver is slightly smaller, uh, like basically CPU processors, and they cycle the energy either direction, uh, depending upon what's needed for the lighting, so it's brighter in one situation, it'll be like silverier, and in the other one when it goes to gold, it'll be like, you know, more golden for different types of mixed lighting. And that, it just goes through those processors automatically, either direction, you know, the energy then down straight through like uh, really high speed random access memory basically that's really compact in there uh, that filters it you know just into straight linear lines from the LiDAR anyway so it's extra uniform on each part of this because it's got LiDAR supporting each pixel and uh, <coughs> and then it goes down and um, just enters the uh, storage card and just builds the file into it, you know, from the lines of light and the flashlight, like, because it takes a flash photo, but it's in UV, kind of like how infrared cameras will do that. And then it'll receive the bounce back to the sensor, but it also has LiDAR in between, so it's like a hyper fast everything at once camera. But you can't see any of that, of course. Uh, fuck you, pay me. There could be an infrared version, which is, of course, the DJI Pocket 2. And generally speaking, for the next version, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. The last part about the DJ Osmo Pocket is just that it has, uh, I guess, bronze random access memory, just so we have a full lineup of metal colors and saturation hues that it's filtered through before it reaches the uh, micro US, I'm mean, not USB, uh, SD card. That's about it. And uh, that makes up a efficient storage program.